Welcome to Business Engineering, and thank you for joining us. This is the first presentation in our Business Book Summary Series. This presentation explores the key learning points from the book, The Wisdom of Crowds, by James Surowiecki. Let's check it out. Business engineering tackles complex management, technology, and business topics. We are unique in that we provide analysis and meaning by leveraging executive experience, evidence-based research, and doctoral-level academics to give you working knowledge to improve your business. Let's start by introducing the book and the author. The topic of this presentation is The Wisdom of the Crowds by James Surowiecki, published in 2004. James Surowiecki is an American journalist. He is a 1988 graduate of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where he was a Moorhead scholar. Surowiecki went on toward the pursuit of a PhD at Yale University. He served as a staff writer at the New Yorker magazine, covering topics on business and finance. James is featured in a 2005 TED Talk entitled The Power and Danger of Online Crowds, and his works have appeared in many publications such as The Wall Street Journal, The Motley Fool, Foreign Affairs, Art Forum, Wired, MIT Technology Review, and Slate. Definitions of select terms used in the context of this presentation are crowdsourced information. This is the practice of soliciting and obtaining ideas, opinions, data, and judgment from a large number of individuals rather than from traditional sources or from experts. Crowd wisdom is the resultant process of crowdsource information converted into usable knowledge. Although it is colloquially termed as wisdom, it may or may not be wise. Delphi models is a thought development and evolution process whereby people form and refine opinions based upon successive rounds of clarification, further information, and or feedback. Diversity. In this context, diversity means a body or crowd of individuals which are truly diverse in background, expertise, education, exposure, and life experience. Groupthink refers to a behavioral phenomenon often typical of groups, which causes an irrational or dysfunctional decision outcome due to the pressure of seeking fast consensus with harmony and conformity as tacit motivators. Homogeneous, a body of individuals with generally similar characteristics, perhaps all of the same race, political affiliation, education, geographic region, or the like. The effect is that their collective decision and opinion may be highly alike and not truly representing the broad opinion of the masses. Predictive modeling, a data science where a large amount of data, such as crowdsourced information from a targeted base of individuals, either diverse or homogenous, may be evaluated and reliably computed to predict a popular choice or outcome prior to the actual event. General Hypothesis This book summarizes several works, studies, and anecdotal evidence which suggest that the collective knowledge of a large group in many cases can be more accurate if not far superior to that of one expert individual. While in some cases we may prefer one expert with superior knowledge, say to perform our brain surgery, Surowiecki's evidence is convincing that a crowd may be a better predictor of certain things, such as market trends, stock valuation, and the outcome of a presidential election. There are four characteristics the author defines which are required for crowd wisdom to deliver such accuracy. The first is diversity. This provides for a broader range of perspectives, knowledge, and opinions than that of a homogenous group. Independence. The thinkings, decisions, or actions of one member of the crowd must not influence the other members to avoid groupthink. They must be decentralized. The individuals are not only diverse, but have a low commonality of life experience, exposure, or knowledge base, and there must be a reliable method to aggregate the opinions and judgments into that of a collective decision. The author identifies three areas of application for crowd wisdom. The first is prediction markets, such as stock speculation or spread estimates on the expected Super Bowl winner. The second is Delphi models, a successive prediction or forecasting process 
where multiple rounds of questions are sent to a panel of experts, then anonymous responses are aggregated and shared with the group after each round. This process was initially used to forecast trends in science and technology, especially in preliminary hypothesis testing. In today's world, it has been used to forecast outcomes related to the economy, public policy, commerce, education, healthcare, and even sales forecast predictions. This is sometimes known as estimate talk estimate. And finally, opinion polls, such as who will win the presidential election. It is notable in this discussion that the author describes how having the crowd predict the outcome is more powerful than asking the crowd who they will be voting for. In many cases, these three areas of application and their resultant crowdsourced wisdom have many applications in business and society, such as market awareness, identifying an unfulfilled market need, product development, understanding of consumer preferences, merchandising, understanding optimal price points, finance, projecting of housing or stock price trajectories, and public policy, the ability to discern possible acceptance or rejection of establishing public policy. Supporting points and counterpoints. First, crowdsource wisdom isn't always wise. When groups are homogenous or subject to seeking consensus, when any level of social influence is introduced, or when information is cyclic and there is no true knowledge and people are just guessing. In many cases, crowdsource wisdom generally outperforms experts by a large margin. However, it is shown to be highly sensitive to exact context. The crowd performs better at what's known as the domain level, aggregating all of the questions, but experts generally perform better at the individual question level. The crowd wisdom must be taken into broad context. In closing, this presentation has summarized the key points of the book, The Wisdom of Crowds, by James Surowiecki. The research evidence shown in Surowiecki's book and other studies show that leveraging crowdsourced information can be powerful in economic modeling, public policy development, and many areas of business, such as seeking customer input. Many firms exist worldwide to help you with crowdsourced predictive modeling. We hope this content has been helpful to you. Thank you for joining us.